All right, people, what is going on? This is episode 490 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am VF Baller. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern Atlanta Falcons football. And we're going to flip it back to the Eagles, y'all. We're going to talk about the Georgia Southern Eagles and the transfer portal. I think something has is missing here that nobody's really talking about. I'm going to bring it to the forefront on this episode and let you guys know why I'm really bought into what Coach Clay Helton is doing. And I think the players are as well. I think they're doing a pretty good job of being loyal. We're going to talk about all that, give my thoughts and opinions on this whole situation with the transfer portal, the outlier of Georgia Southern football and Coach Clay Helton, and the effect he has on this program. We're really going to talk about that. If this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. I'm also on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. Uh, I'm, you can be your own program director if you check out any of those podcast uh, avenues download the podcast subscribe to them and listen at your leisure we we'll really appreciate it if you don't mind doing that also give this show a five star rating hopefully if you are on the fence about that after this episode you will uh consider doing so because i think i have a pretty good show over here i try my best to give you guys the best information thoughts and opinions before we get into Coach Clay Helton, this episode and all my, well, pretty much all my episodes lately has been brought to you by BetUS. If you want to put down wagers on any of these games, any of these players, uh, whatever the case may be that you can uh, bet on that website, whether it be MMA, World Cup, uh, basketball, NBA, college basketball is about the uh, college basketball is going on, all those things right there. If you want to put everything in uh those uh wages there is all right there so hopefully you guys will check all of that stuff out and it'll be a really good time for you i think i think you'll be able to do really good with all the avenues they have over there put a hundred dollars down and you get a 125 percent bet book bonus also it helps the show so hopefully you guys will do that if you consider it just look into it once again a hundred dollars down will give you 125 percent bet book bonus you're already starting out doubling your money. So go ahead and check that out. Hopefully you like it. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. I think Coach Clay Helton is the perfect guy for this job. I'll just go out there and say it. He's the perfect guy for this job at Georgia Southern. He's turned this program around, not to all the way to my liking, but when you do understand that it's impossible to go 8-4 and four off the rip, he ended up managing the team to go 6-6. Six and six. They're going to a bowl game against Buffalo. They beat Nebraska. They beat a top 25 team this season. Uh, some things didn't go the way we wanted to go, but all, all in all, this is a pretty successful season. I give this season an A as far as grading him and his coaching. I give him an A. If he beat Georgia State, would have got A+. Plus. But we can look all past all that. I know we're having the Camellia Bowl coming up. I can't wait to talk about that. But when you look at what's going on with the transfer portal, we are, we're talking about a lot of guys coming in. But we're not talking about anybody's, any, any of our guys going out. Nobody's leaving. I think we're like the only school out of all of this transfer portal craziness going on. Out of all the craziness going on, I think we're one of the few, if not the only, team that has zero, zero players transfer in the transfer portal. I'm actually astonished by that. Now, I will say this. At some point, somebody may leave and go to the transfer portal. They're probably doing it as I record that this now. But as of this recording, I'm looking at the stats right here. Zero players from Georgia Southern has entered the transfer portal. I don't know there's an anomaly out there. Somebody is, um, you know, they are uh, using Wesley Kennedy as a stat. Wesley Kennedy hasn't been on the team since 2019. So I don't that doesn't uh, I don't think that really counts. But nevertheless, what Coach Clay Helton is doing is something really special. He got the kids to buy into what they're doing. He he got he got the kids to buy into the program. Got kids want to be loyal and stick around for this program just because they see the greatness of what's going on here. And yes, I said greatness. When you have all these kids that feel like they don't need to be at a program, they think they can see greener pastures elsewhere, you got almost, um, I think last time I checked, you got a few thousand. I think at some point, I think it was like four, three or 4,000 kids in the transfer portal. You know, that's a lot of kids. You know, I mean, that's a lot of kids 
in the transfer portal right now. So you got all these teams that are losing players, all these teams that are uh, hopefully getting more players. But at the same, but right now, like nobody from Georgia Southern is leaving. When you know there are situations where you have some players that could leave and have an actual, you know, a legitimate, you know, a legitimate case to go. But you got all these kids that are going and moving around and this, that, and the third. But you're not having that in Statesboro. I, I put that all on Coach Clay Helton. Clay Helton got these kids doing something that make them feel like they could be a part of, you know, what they're doing. You know, I, I just find it very, very impressive that Coach is able to do this. So what does this mean for the program? I think the program is going to continue to get stronger because if anything, if none of these kids are trying to leave, that means they love their coach. And that's going to make other people be like, wait a minute, what's going on over there? Maybe they want a piece of that. There's already been talks that we're going to be getting players from other schools to come in. Everybody's not going to make the team. And even if they do make the team, they're not going to be on the depth chart as high as they think they are. But that's just the way it is. But you're going to see another shift to find out who really wants to be here at Georgia Southern. Because you're going to start seeing kids trying to come here and be and commit as a transfer. When they do that, then you're going to have another episode of the, the Clay Helton effect. You know, he's actually doing some really, really good things here. So with that being said, I'm extremely excited. And I think Coach Clay Helton is the perfect guy for this job. Things that may not look right and things may not didn't may not sound right. Things probably just didn't go our way at times. Sometimes we wanted to feel like we needed a, a quarterback change. But Coach Clay Helton stuck with it. He stuck with them and made some form of success out of it. I find that very, very very impressive especially when you just your first year here you're managed to do something like that in a situation where all these players are going to other places to try to play but at the same time you're sitting here like there's zero players leaving out of Statesboro I'm sitting there trying to find out how many players that are actually in the transfer portal as of right now of this recording. The last time I checked, it was a lot. It was over, I think it was over a thousand. I think I misspoke earlier. I think it was over a thousand. I mean, that's that's insane. As of uh, last night, there have been a total of 734 new entries into the transfer portal. That's on the FBS level. I don't know what it's like on the FCS or otherwise. That is a lot. According to Sports Illustrated, the transfer portal numbers are pretty alarming. 54% reported enrolling at a new school. 41% have not found a new school and are still looking or transferred to a non-NCAA school or left the sport completely. That is insane. That is wild. So people left the transfer, went to the transfer portal, and never came back to play football. That is sad. This is why, and, and, and I'm going to talk about this in a bigger picture before I get out of here. This is why you need coaches to be coaches. And, and one thing I will say, Coach Clay Helton has done a fantastic job of being a coach. He coached these team, these these kids up to be something, and some of these kids probably never knew they had it in them, or they probably had it in them but didn't push them to their maximum potential. You got to understand, a lot of these kids that were in this, with this team all were, were recruited to be something else. Some of them were recruited to be in a different position as far as, you know, duties or whatever. I mean, you got some kids who used to be wide receiver turning into um, – that used to be a wide receiver turning into tight ends. You guys and guys who play quarterback turning into wide receivers. Some quarterbacks are turning into DBs. Some safeties moved around. Some cornerbacks moved around to be safeties. 
And they got these kids believing in themselves. So with all these numbers that are going around that are kids that are dropping out and not wanting to play anymore or some are still looking for schools, Georgia Southern, Coach Clay Helton is keeping Georgia Southern, of, you know, holding, them, holding it together. And it's very impressive. Very impressive. I, I just don't know what else to say about that. I'm, I, it's just when you look at I, the only thing I can say, I am, I am very, very glad that he's our coach. Like seriously, I'm very glad that he's our coach. You, you have to understand. You look at everybody in the Sun Belt. As of the last seven or eight hours, and I'm pretty sure this probably have changed by now. And I still haven't seen anything on Georgia Southern getting any new anybody in the transfer portal. But when you look at App State, has nine. Oh, they have eight. Oh, I'm trying to see. This is it, it's like updating in real time. Okay. App State has nine. Arkansas State has eight. Coastal has five. Georgia State has 12. That's insane. James Madison has three. Kudos to them. Louisiana has one. That's pretty cool. ULM, 13. Do you guys start to see like some type of a pattern here? The guys who have the most have like bad coach. I ain't going to say bad, but not so good coaching. And the ones who have decent coaches out have the least. Old Dominion, 10. Marshall, 2. South Alabama, 1. Southern Miss, 2. Texas State, 11. And I think Texas State just lost their coach, I think. Coastal just lost their coach, too. So I expect that 5 to go up. But when you have a stable coach who's able to have kids to believe in something, believe that you know your three and nine season will turn into something better and now your six and six season it could possibly turn into something better and not one kid declare for the transfer portal out of georgia i find that i find that very impressive very impressive i i love what we're doing here i love it I love it. I do. I'm really, really impressed with the way Georgia St Southern is doing on, on and off the football field. I, you know, you, you can't ask for more than that. Now, would you like to see players come in that are in the transfer portal that are more talented and can contribute? Absolutely. Would you like some fans, I hate to say this, some fans wouldn't mind seeing a few players go into the transfer portal and find another place. It may be a better fit for them. I don't blame them. I don't blame fans for feeling that way. I, you know, yeah, I don't blame the kids if they wanted to. But the fact you don't have any, it just goes back to this coaching, coaching staff. I think they've done a great job of trying to contain what they have and build what they have. That's not to say every kid will be back for next year to play. Some kids may get injured. Some kids may be cut. Some kids may not want to play anymore. Some of these kids are graduating. Got to understand we got fifth, sixth, and seventh year seniors on this team. Somebody got to fill those voids. I think we got about at least seven of them, eight. You plug and play a good, a few of those guys that was in another a Power Five conference or whatever the case may be. Bring about two or three of them down here and have them to buy in what these kids are doing right now. We may have something serious going on here at George Southern. And while all the other teams in the Sun Belt look like they're going to the wayside, they're not looking as strong. You still have the James Madisons, maybe Louisiana, South Alabama. They're looking okay. But Coastal and App, Georgia State, I mean, Texas State, they look like they're in shambles. So I, I'm really, really liking what I see here. I think this is something to be applauded. Not many people are talking about it. I think it's very impressive with, with all these kids jumping into the transfer portal. Not one, as of this recording, has went into the transfer portal. They're here to be locked and loaded in, and they want to be an eagle. I find that very, very, very impressive. I think I should close it out there. What you guys think? Yeah, I think I should close it out there. If you like this commentary, hit the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think. As of right now, zero kids in the transfer portal. They want to be at George Southern. I think it's pretty cool. You can find me on Twitter if you want to talk about any of these things because I may not have the chance to address things here. I'll talk about things over there on Twitter that don't make it to the show for the most part. Also, 
I am on YouTube and Rumble. I'm on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. You also can hit all the links down there. That Bet US, click that Bet US, put a hundred down, get a hundred twenty five percent bet book bonus, sportsbook bonus, double your money off the rip. You can bet on some of these games that are coming on. You can put some wages down. Hopefully, you double or triple your money. And everybody wins. And also, you putting in for that on that link does help out the content on this show. All right, y'all. I'm going to get up out of here. I really appreciate it. Once again, let me know what you guys think about the Clay Helton effect. This is episode 90. This is episode 490. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, y'all. Take it easy. Y'all be blessed. Peace. <laughs>